Okay, we're going to come up to the conclusion of charging methods. We've gone through nine of the other ways. Some of them are good, some of them will hit certain applications and, and uh, different pieces of equip equipment different ways. You know, you don't always have the manufacturer's specifications, and those may work quite well in those situations. But the number one way, the best way, you can't beat it, is to use the manufacturer's specifications. Now, I'm going to tell you, take a little challenge here to you. I'm going to give you a little challenge. When you pull the charging charts of a unit, see if what we went through with the superheating, the subcooling, the pressures, the whole nine yards, compare what you figure doing that to what the manufacturer shows in his charts. You'll find out that what we went through is how they come up with those charts. Okay. Now I got a question for you. Why would we want to always rely on the manufacturer's specifications more than any other method? Why? They built it. They built it. They, 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 they know their product. They know their product. They're not going to put a product out there in the field with information that is going to decrease the life of their unit. Let's face it, they got a warranty to, 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 to hold up to, right? right? They want their unit to hold up during that warranty, but even more than that, they don't want the reputation of having units that don't last. Okay? So they're going to tell you the best way. You can't beat it. If you can't find that chart, if you can't find that information, then resort to the other ways. And you get into refrigeration, supermarket refrigeration, you may not be able to say this is going to come up under a uh, manufacturer specification. But this will work for unitary units, air conditioning in particular. Refrigeration, uh, you have some self-contained units that it shouldn't be a problem at all. Like I said, you get into here where it is a field erected uh, system, then you're going to have to resort to some of the other methods that we talked about. Okay, But I, I cannot overemphasize how important it is to do this. What do you find, I mean, if you have a particular unit, where would you find the specs at if you don't have a package or something? Okay, usually it's going to be on the service door. Sometimes it may be on the external panels of the unit. And I know that sunshine, rain, and weather breaks things down. But, but I'll tell you, if you know the model number, and you've got the manufacturer model number, those two things right there will usually lead you to, work, to, to information, especially through the Internet. Uh, most manufacturers are not trying to hide service information. You know, I know that, that sometimes you may not be able to get into some particular things, but these companies want you to service their equipment correctly. They got a reputation, and their reputation and your reputation is going to go hand in hand. I, I'm going to say this: one of the biggest things that has happened out here in the field is we, you know, we hate to talk about the the, the, the bad part of this industry, but it's there, and that is folks are not getting trained or getting trained properly to do service work before they're stuck in the field, and. Most of these manufacturers realize that they're trying to make things easier for, for service people to understand and do things properly, but there are no shortcuts. There just are not any shortcuts. You take that shortcut, and it's going to come back to bite somebody somewhere somehow. Okay, so you know, I, I'm, I'm telling you, these systems ought to last a long time, way past warranty periods, and they will. But the refrigerant charge has to be correct. They have to be serviced. They have to be kept up. Okay? If you never change the oil in your car, it's not going to last. If you don't service these units on a regular basis, they're not going to last. It's that simple. Something as simple as changing the filter can make all the difference in the world. Any questions? Let's call that a conclusion on this, okay? All right. Thank you very much.